Old Town St. Charles. There's stories of various people. And my friend, ah, Jennifer, the one in the middle. She was in Harvey with me. Such a sweetheart. Here we are in Old St. Charles, Old Main Street, Old Town, St. Charles, Missouri. Here comes a horse-drawn carriage with people in the in the wagon and behind. We'll see him in a minute. All along the way, there's Halloween things. The kids get stickers at these various stay stops. They fill up a card full of stickers. These are villagers from uh, years ago. French. The clock shop it really looks cool. You got various shops that sell things. Bicycles and scented candles, candy, doodads. Cool. All right, come on. Oops, someone, someone got Einstein in the head there. Pretty decorations everywhere. They really get dolled up around here. Oh, it's a flower peddler. Oh, I know the guys that run this place. They're really nice guys. Because I'm bitter. <laughs> young, a young man like yourself said, I love you. I'll be there for you forever. And then when the state capital moved to Jeff City, so did he. And he never came back. The cigar store Indian. Looking for an honest politician. Keep looking, buddy. Keep looking. It's a wolf dressed up like Grandmama. Yeah. All right. There's my friend Jennifer, the one on the right. Oh, hello, you look like you have some magic in you. Who is this? Come forward, please, sister. The third sister is off getting some magical ingredients like, uh, well, she's picking up some uh, frog's breath. I think she had some spider legs. Uh, rat's tails. What did, what did we forget? I have a feeling you might know what we're forgetting. Chicken toenails. Chicken toenails. Chicken toenails. Oh, we'll have to ask Baba Yaga for some clippings from her house. Yes, yes. Do you, do you think you could fetch those for us, some clippings from Baba Yaga's house? I think I could. Because it is on a chicken leg, of course. Yes. <laughs> well, we do not need the leg, just the toenails. So you'll have to be very sneaky, but you won't notice a bit. <laughs> as long as you do not cut into the quick. After we make sure they're a witch, what do we do to them? Burn them. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. We're not savage like the English. We're sophisticated Americans, and we don't want to get our hands dirty. So we just hang you from the gallows. <laughs> hey, horses. <laughs> Busy place, lots of cars. Katy Trail <laughs> State Park, it used to be a train track and they took the train tracks away and you can use it as a hiking or bicycling path that goes all the way down to Defiance, Missouri, Washington, Missouri. Quite a ways. I bicycled it once and up this way is the park where they had the Oktoberfest. But straight ahead, you can see the river if the cars aren't in the way. Over there is a boathouse and museum. Not sure what kind of museum. And then through the trees there, at the top, you can see a building that's a casino. The trailhead is a microbrewery restaurant. They have very, very good microbrews. They have good beer. Tasty, good all sandwiches. Back to back to Main or this, yeah, Main Street. These buildings are built, oh gosh, right around the turn of the last century, 1900 or or even earlier in the 1800s, I think, when the French fur traders used to come through here. There are some even older buildings. But down that way 
is an entrance to the Maristar Casino. Casinos around here are real popular. Now I'm going back this way. The horsies are loading up. I'm going to cross over the street and walk back towards my car. Nice. These stores down here sell uh, Missouri things, St. Charles things, a lot of Missouri things like Missouri honey, Missouri made things. This is an eatery. Magpies, I think. Oh, look, there's a skeleton in the tree. I heard of skeletons in your closet, but now they're in your tree. Oh dear. People are out here enjoying themselves, it's like firewall. It's really a cool place to bring your date, especially in the fall when it's still brisk. You can come here and have wine and a little meal with your significant one. There goes the trolley. Remember from the last time I was here? Since this area was founded by French, it's not Romeo, it's old Pierre, Pierre, wherefore I go. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha. Are you sure? Looks like you're having a bit of trouble. Ah, there it is, no. Sorry I doubted you. What's your name? Nathan, do you know what you're going to be Halloween name? Harry Potter. Well, it's fine and everything. But, 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 what? What about this? What if you want a mummy instead? Now heading back up the hill and then over that direction to my car. Red tree up there, pretty. St. Charles is a lovely place. If you get to this area and you get to St. Louis, please come over to St. Charles. Check them out. St. Old Town St. Charles is one of the loveliest places you'll find the nicest shops. I see the trolley turned up there running ahead of us. This is North St. Charles. See the old buildings and stuff? There's some really old shops, just general store type places that were here for a long time. North St. Charles here is referred to locally as Frog Town. is a derogatory term for a Frenchman. Now I don't know why it's called that around here. There's no hard feelings towards French or anything. I'm going to cross over the Missouri River. I'll try to capture what St. Charles looks like from the river. I don't know if I'll be able to because I'm driving. That building that you see sticking up over there is the casino. I'm going to go the back way home, down a long blacktop road where a lot of deer pop out in front of you, so I'll have to be really careful. We're getting closer to more housing and stuff like that, and I have seen deer through here feeding in fields, little people's yards and stuff around here. I have seen them. Like I've seen them over there. I don't know if you can tell, but I have lost a little weight. A little bit. Haven't weighed myself for a few days, so I don't really know. Propping up the camera on top of a brick on the air conditioner. Ha! Ah. So, it's beautiful out here today. I just wish I could spend more time out. This week has been like this. and. Really sad that my circumstances don't allow me to enjoy this. Yeah, about half an hour I have to head back over to mom's. I'm gonna stuff my face and prepare myself mentally. Tomorrow Rick gets goes to an extended care rehabilitation center or something. And he asked if I was still driving mom's car. I told the truth, I said yeah. He's gonna tell mom. They're going to start bitching. Never end in bitching. Oh my god. I should have said no. 
to the line. David said that uh, I can drive this from now on because mom's in bed. She doesn't drive it and Richard has his own truck. <sighs> oh my god. But I totally enjoyed being away from the house. I'm going in and love on the cat. Stuff my face and prepare myself to go back. Yeah, things better improve so I can go upward and onward. I love you.